In the previous video, we discussed the physiological and anatomical changes in pregnancy. And now we need to learn the biochemical changes in pregnancy. Today we'll learn about the metabolic changes and tomorrow about the endocrine changes. If an essay on metabolic changes are asked in your exam, you can divide the subtopics into general metabolic changes, protein, carbohydrate, fat, iron, calcium, and body water metabolism. Don't forget to mention about weight gain in pregnancy. General metabolic changes. The total metabolism is increased due to the needs of the growing fetus. Thus, the basal metabolic rate is increased by 30%. Protein metabolism. There is a positive nitrogenous balance throughout pregnancy. The growing fetus need more protein and amino acids are actively transported across the placenta to the fetus. To meet this extra need, breakdown of amino acids into urea is suppressed. This causes a fall in the mother's blood urea levels. At term, the fetus and placenta contain 500 gram of protein and maternal gain in protein is also 500 gram. Carbohydrate metabolism. The fetus need more of carbohydrates also. To supply this, there is increased gluconeogenesis and glycogenolysis. The maternal utilization of glucose is also decreased. Mechanisms to decrease maternal utilization of glucose are increased insulin secretion, decreased sensitivity of insulin receptors, and increased tissue resistance to insulin. These changes in carbohydrate metabolism in pregnancy leads to maternal fasting hypoglycemia due to fetal consumption and postprandial hyperglycemia. This is due to anti-insulin factors. Fat and lipid metabolism. There is increased levels of plasma lipids and lipoproteins during pregnancy. This is due to hormonal changes, especially the increase in estrogen, progesterone, HPL and leptin. Thus, an average of 3 to 4 kg of body fat is stored during pregnancy and is distributed over the abdominal wall, breast, hips and thighs. Iron is absorbed in ferrous form released into circulation as transferrin and actively transported across the placenta to the fetus. Mm -hmm. The demand of iron in pregnancy is highly increased. The total iron requirement in pregnancy is 1000 mg, almost 6 to 7 mg per day. This is used up by the fetus and placenta and the increased maternal RBC mass. The amount of iron in diet is not sufficient to meet this need. Thus, pregnancy is an inevitable iron deficiency state. For the same reason, every pregnant woman needs iron supplements beside the dietary intake. There is increased calcium demand for fetal bone formation. To meet this increased demand, the dietary requirement of calcium in pregnancy is 1 to 1.5 gram per day. Also, there is an increase in 125 dihydroxy vitamin D3, which doubles the calcium absorption. Though most of this calcium is used up for the fetal bone formation, the maternal skeleton is protected from osteoporosis by increased calcitonin levels. Body water metabolism. Pregnancy is a state of hypovolemia. There is active retention of water, sodium and potassium. Water retained at term is almost 6.5 liters. Reasons for water retention are changes in maternal osmoregulation, increase in estrogen and progesterone, increase in antidiuretic hormone, and increase in renin angiotensin aldosterone system activity. Weight gain in pregnancy. In early weeks of pregnancy, there is weight loss due to nausea, vomiting, and reduced appetite. During the subsequent months, the weight gain is progressive till the last one or two weeks. The total weight gain during the course of a singleton pregnancy for a healthy woman averages 11 kg. Ideally, the weight gain should depend upon the pre-pregnancy body mass index. Weight gain for a woman with normal BMI is 11 to 16 kg. An obese woman should not gain more weight than 7 kgs. Whereas, an underweight woman may be allowed to gain up to 18 kg. The total weight gain at term is distributed approximately as follows. Fetus 3.3 kg, 
placenta 0.6 kg, liquor or amniotic fluid 0.8 kg, uterus 0.9 kg, breast 0.4 kg, body fat 3.5 kg, blood volume 1.3 kg and extracellular fluid of 1.2 kg. Why do we check the weight of antenatal mothers during every visit? In Viva, your examiner may ask you what's the significance or importance of weight checking during pregnancy. Rapid weight gain of half kg per week or 2 kg per month can be an early manifestation of preeclampsia. Stationary or falling weight can indicate an intrauterine growth restriction or an intrauterine death of the fetus. Those are the metabolic changes in pregnancy. Hope you understood. Thank you.